Hey guys, I'm Brandon, and today we are taking a closer look at the Alpine Stars Tech 7 boots available at Revzilla.com. So the Tech 7 boots, we've got the uh, the regular or the non-Enduro version over here. These are my personal boots, and as you can tell, I have <laughs> definitely used them quite a bit over the past two years. This is the Enduro version right here in front of me. The big difference there is going to be directly associated with the sole and how chunky it is in comparison to the non-Enduro version. You can see that just a little bit more grip and, and better feel with these particular boots. And then over here on my left-hand side, we have the Enduro dry star boots and the big difference there of course dry star that is denoting that uh, it does have a waterproof capability it has that waterproof gator in there um, so for riders out there looking for that you now have that option i really like that alpine stars is giving you that option uh, within their lineup because i absolutely love these boots uh, i think they're an excellent combination of comfort protection as well as just tactile feel of your controls now before i get going on there let's talk about the overall fit the fit is very important especially when it comes to boots and gloves and things of that nature. Now, I typically wear a size 10 and a half to a size 11 in most of my riding shoes. I'm actually wearing a size 10 in these particular boots. I feel that they're running about a half size generous. Um, so if you're in between two sizes, I would say go with the smaller of the two options and you should be all set. Now, keep in mind, these boots will ship to you for free. And as always, we do have our price match policy in place. That, of course, is going to guarantee you the lowest price available. And speaking of price, uh, when you go with the Enduro version, you're spending about $20, $30 more, I believe. And then when you hop up to the waterproof version, you are gonna spend a, a little bit more to get that waterproof gator incorporated. But the waterproof version also gets that Enduro style sole that I mentioned to you before. Now I'm gonna mainly focus on this one and walk you through the Tech 7s with these, uh, the Enduro style uh, boots. Now starting at the toe box, this is a hard TPU that wraps all the way around the base of this riding boot. You can see here on the other side or the medial side, if you will, all that TPU there is just gonna give you additional protection from you know, impact as well as abrasion resistance. And obviously these are gonna be a, you know, a 10 out of 10 on the stiffness scale. They are designed to help you with torsional and lateral protection. So they're not really designed to flex a whole lot. However, it does have a dual hinge system. You can see that on both the left and right hand side here. And that system allows a little bit of flexibility and it's gonna be a lot better than a lot of other boots I've used out there on the market because it does give you that extra edge of comfort and movement when you're riding on the bike. Uh, I really love this dual hinge system that they have implemented on the Tech 7s. And that's why I originally grabbed gravitated towards these and this is I think my third pair that I've used and I absolutely love them. As you can tell, uh, I've definitely got some use out of them. But let's take a, a quick look here at the bottom of the sole. This is nice because, you know, if you're dabbing, if you're going through rock gardens and things like that, you know, I was just riding with my buddy Pat and Zito actually, if you know Zito, out at a Michaud Dual Sport and we were riding through rock gardens uh, and things like that. This would have been nice as I'm dabbing through just to give me that extra grip that I would need, that extra edge uh, to get through that platform. Um, so that is what the Enduro sole it is really designed to do. It's a little bit beefier, uh, a little bit stronger in comparison to the non-enduro version and a little bit grippier as well. Now, as you can see, We've got four buckles going all the way to the top of this. These are aluminum closures here and aluminum buckles. These are obviously uh, adjustable, very easy to do so. You just kind of pull it back like that and you can make the fine tune adjustments that you need to do so and goes all the way to the top. Now, right here at the top, you do have some additional shin protection. I cannot tell you how many times uh, this protection has come into play and uh, done its job. Whether you're riding tight single track or riding ADV bikes, whatever the case may be, there's a really good chance that you're gonna make some contact in this area with your bike or a tree or just falling on the ground and, and hitting your foot pegs. That has saved me quite a bit. Um, so it is nice having that additional reinforcement and that's part of what you get with a more MX, uh, you know, dirt oriented style pair of boots. Now let's work our way to the inside here real quick, just to get a quick look on the interior. Unbuckle all of these and then a simple Velcro tab towards the top. 
just making sure it's nice and secure. And you can see that gator there on the inside of the riding boot. Um, the waterproof version, that's really the big difference. As I mentioned before, that gator is going to go much higher. And again, it is going to provide you with that waterproof capability. I think that's uh, a really great option for ADV riders out there too. It's something that I, I think they, they look for a lot uh, when they're utilizing their boots. But on the inside, we have a 3D mesh liner that's just designed to help promote some airflow uh, and keep that, or uh, excuse me, keep that air circulating so you can stay more comfortable. And I do want to buckle these back up real quick and talk about the medial side of these riding boots as well. Let's take a quick look here on the medial side. You can see all this grip on the inside. This is very important um, to be able to grip your bike, especially if you're riding in a more motocross application to hug your bike tightly. It's important out on single track and trails, of course, but this does work really well. If you look, you can see this is a high wear area. So it is nice to have that additional reinforcement in this particular area of the boots. But I think considering the price point, considering what is out there on the market, uh, where these land, I think the combination of comfort, the flexibility, and the tactile feel make these an excellent bomb-proof option for any, you know, ADV riders, MX riders, or, you know, people out there doing enduros, hair scrambles, things of that nature. Uh, these are some of my favorite boots by far. So if you're looking for more details, click that info button. That's going to take you over to RevZill.com. You can take a closer look at the, uh, the product page, check out some other color options, read other rider reviews, and get that feedback. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our gear geeks. You can give them a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at RevZilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit and taking a closer look at the Alpine Stars Tech 7 boots. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.